our beauties hope and no name bike for the moment your boy martin aka martin the vlogger and today this is a continuation of the first part when i'm upgrading this f3 limited special series and today i will keep my promise you will see some installations that i haven't done yet push this out there we go on f3 models already start to work on something uh new wrap top case something uh brake rod something handbrake something a lot of something guys enough of this five first 500 views no video ads and in case you would like to see and have some of the upgrades that i will put on those bikes martinthevlogger.com slash shop now let's get started our first upgrade is about this those are shocks not shocks as you are used to for my videos these are shocks for the top cases so whoever owns f3 limited or rt20 plus and a top case you know what come with me so you know guys whoever owns those bikes you know we have this this is a stock shock there yep and when you upgrade it have a look this is how it should be done from the beginning so you open it and guess what the thing stays as it should now slide the backrest out now push this out the aftermarket shock that you have from my shop <laughs> and put it back so how good is this upgrade at is this one no this is a rubbish uh, how good is the upgrade uh, aftermarket shocks for a top case amazing it will go on every single spider with the top case that i have it's gonna be a lot of them and you can find it on martinthevlogger.com slash shop of course on to the next one this is this is just wrong engineering i don't know who has come up with this mm. Mm. Uh, most probably they just simply, you know, use the brake pedal, the angle that they have on the F3S and with stock packs. It's kind of okay there, but it doesn't work with flow bolts. It's, it's completely nuts. So we need to fix it and we will fix it with the brake rod. We have it on a shop and basically it will lower the angle. We have it in the position like the longest, shortest, middle and minus one so everything is on martin the vlogger and actually have a look there we go Epic. So we have our brake rod, new brake rod installed, new angle is there. And you know what? Actually, I will call Polly to tell us what he thinks about this upgrade. Uh, it's also raining outside, and I ain't gonna go outside. So, Polly, yeah. can you come here, please? That's Polly. Polly is doing packaging for you today. Hello. Polly, grab something, clean the seat because it's raining outside. I'm sorry, you need to go Which outside. One? Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> and have a seat on the. It's just bloody me, I'm going outside as well. So have a seat, get your ass wet. Maybe not. We'll see. Ah. Okay. All right, now have the feeling for the, for the brake and the angle. Hurting my knee. It's, it's, it's not knee, it's ankle, but anyway. I'm both, yeah. <laughs> my muscle. I'm just trying to be smart ass. Anyway, so you got a feeling of this? Yeah. That's a stock one. All right, now let's go to the upgrade. I'm wondering what you're gonna say. 
is always complaining, so hopefully you will not complain because we need to sell these brake rods. Oh, much better. Because I keep my foot like that on the side, so it's not much of a movement and it's very comfortable. So it won't damage any of my leg. Now, that's the job that I need to do. And I super, super, super look forward to it. Actually, I should be doing some other things, but I can't wait for this one. Uh, it's a new rack. It's a new design. You can partially see it here. It has something to do with Slovakia that I... Eh, you will see it later. So the vision is, of course, this is only one bike, but every single bike will be wrapped. In case the wrap is good, in case the design is good, every single one of them will look the same. Why? Because I would like to create a hype. Like there are five, six, seven, eight same spiders going behind each other, doing tours around Europe with Martin the vlogger. It's gonna be super cool if the wrap is okay. And of course I'm well known for wrapping Rikers now. And this is, that's the Bloody Mary, you know that, that's a pretty cool one. And now it's gonna be the first time I'm gonna put a wrap on a spider. And to be super honest with you, uh, apart from really sticking big parts like this on your bike, uh, the most difficult thing is to find the correct items which goes where on the bike. Why? Simply because I hate this big ass ding dong. It's always in my way and this one looks much better. So, another week has passed by. We have wrapped, we have several upgrades that I haven't put on any F3 before. And I'm still keeping something for another part that I will make next week for ya. So what is this all about? How I have just lost hundred grand have I lost them I, I just I just I just kind of spent them um, today I will tell you about it in a minute now and these are the new things and this is this is what I call game set match in a in a spider world this is heavy duty sway bar pro game set match like game set match so I will tell you very quickly what it is all about. Now, in the future, you will be able to buy wraps for F3S, F3 Limited with top cases, even for RT20 models. And all of the wraps will look the same on my tour and rental agency. We will use this typical Slovakia. This is this is pattern from Chich Money. Now, I cannot sell it as for today. I cannot put pictures and you cannot buy these wraps or these stickers that do expand. Are they wraps? They expand with heat wraps slash stickers now the thing is why i can't do it because it's not complete we still need to finish fender we are still missing part here we're still missing part there and this is a great example that i have used white color white wrap on a red bike so you can see all of the 
the details that they are that's thing you need to you need to sacrifice okay so in case i will have red bike or i, I have a red bike and i will be doing a design for myself really not for my tour and rental agency i will most probably do something red with pictures or or motifs that will fly through the red so it's not super super visible you know what i'm trying to say anyway like this green it's a nice bike i have seen this green bike at the gross glockner absolutely amazing and it's also done with the wrap all right it's a nice bike it's a nice bike now all of the bikes now i'm talking all of the bikes will have this wrap even the hope will be transferred into this so i'll clear, create one flotilla of bikes on tourism3.com that will have the same style it's going to be absolutely amazing to see it like that on the street now uh why i say all of them and how i have spent 100 grand today actually a little bit more so i went to the dealer bought additional rtc to sky that i have mentioned to you so we shake the hand on that one uh bought two f3s special series manta green so another money there and pre-agreed on another rt20 c to sky katka don't know she's gonna kill me today but that's how we're gonna start that's how we're gonna start 2024 season also dakar stays with me where she is bloody mary stays with me but unfortunately that's the life lemma my kid if you are watching my friend kid lemma is gone mrs beats she's gone so I have traded them for the bit of bigger bikes. Now, games and match. Games and match, if you are still watching. So what's the super big deal about pro version of heavy duty sway bar? You know, this is this sway bar, TOE certificate, health and safety certificates, all kinds of certificates. Nobody else has it. Thickest, biggest, longest, most powerful sway bar in the world. Many people do ask me, is this the, the one to go? I don't know, I'm selling them. Most probably yes. And comparison with others, I don't like this is the biggest one the strongest one sway bars are everything about to be strongest if you have more parts like more like the sway bar is made out of several parts well then like if you are asking me I have received this question uh, which one is better I mean ask yourself one thing sway bars are everything about strong and power if you have the same thing made out of several parts and then you have one metal part that it's like just one which which one of them it's stronger you know what i'm trying to get so anyway and with this one why it is game set match because it has three holes now until this heavy duty it was uh two holes only so comfort and sport now we have brought sport plus now comfort is for less skilled riders those that would like to have control in the corners but still you know it's not going to be super like extremely sharp sport already it's extremely sharp for advanced riders who would like to go around the corners like crazy sport plus it's even 23 percent more sharp like you, you you move the finger and the bike goes like crazy on the side it's for advanced advanced super skilled riders but that's what we are bringing to the game it's amazing it's just nobody else in the world martin the vlogger and now you can see also one more thing we've been sold out again but we have them again back on the shop this is odd front rotors that they do not overheat that much as your normal rotors of course they are made with abs so they work with abs there are no error codes they are floating rotors so they do expand all right so no more waved rotors they have these cuts those cuts are not only for ventilation and also the the wave design is not only for ventilation but also removing like not keeping that much dust and rain so they stop better and uh in conditions wet conditions and dusty conditions martindevlogger.com slash shop we ship them worldwide you can also buy them with the ebc brake pad as a combo better as upgrade guys stay tuned because still handbrake is not there 
Uh, several lights are not there. I just simply, I just simply, this is a long video already. So next week we are continuing. Stay tuned on a Tuesday shorts because how to install, oh, the brake rod, it's gonna be there. And guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like to ride Grossglockner, uh, already a lot of orders. So already two RT20 plus are gone. So I have only one RT20 plus to go on, a, on the Gross. One F3 Limited is pre-booked. So there are still several bikes available, but you know, you know, Grossglockner with Martin the Vlogger next year, 2024. Guys, thank you very much for watching. And remember, well, have fun. Always have fun. And ride with me on Tours on 3. Dot com. And buy all the parts, martinthevlogger.com. So many promos.